Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 88 of Enter Enter today and I'm looking forward to see if uh, Gon and Killua are actually going to be able um, to defeat Knuckle but uh, in the end this is already really good for them because um, they're um, like this is all training and uh, I'm sure they are already becoming um, like stronger and stronger um, but yeah they still need to, um, to like to keep uh, doing this like they need to be um, like really prepared for what's to come because if they want to stand a chance um, in that uh, place, uh, the NGL, um, they need to be a lot stronger. So uh, I really loved um, that decision from uh, Gon when um, he like actually defeated Knuckle. Um, he didn't um, take the token at all. So uh, they actually brought him to. Um, like um, that house and uh, uh, now it's like um, they are like really close to each other um, and he, he, it's like Gon was um, prioritizing um, becoming stronger rather than uh, getting access to that place so that is a, a really nice uh, way of thinking and hopefully um, good things will happen um, uh, to them um, but yeah, now this other guy uh, showed up and he's like uh, uh, already thinking um, about um, messing with them. So yeah, that's not exactly too good, but um, at the same time, um, maybe like things um, could happen in a way to um, to like basically make knuckle and shoot. Um, like I don't know how to say this, but uh, I keep thinking about uh, how shoot could maybe. Um, like eventually change and uh, maybe be part of this um, training process um, but yeah in the end I'm not too sure if he's going to do that because he's uh, um, not really thinking um, that way um, but yeah just really can't wait to see what's going to happen during this um, episode so hope you guys are ready and let's start it I went to check back if this was Really that guy who showed up before? It's him. Yeah. Thinking about messing with them. At the sink. I don't know, I want to be positive about this. Just basically imagining Gon and Kilwa fighting against each of them, so... And of course if it's serious, it's not a bad thing, because... Like I said, they need to be prepared. Yeah, I'll have to wait and see what... Shoot does. Also assuming that is... Strong as well, so... So wonder about Netro and the other two. It's like they were planning on... Attacking some of these squadrons. Yeah. Makes me worried. The things could go bad really easily. Damn. He can barely walk. Like Mahon. They really tired right now. Hmm.
Yuma? Wonder if they noticed him. Not too sure. Sweating a lot. Is he hesitating? Hey, don't tell me this is another funny guy. Just like Knuckle. Oh my god. What is going on? Really? <laughs> I was actually thinking that he was going to attack them and then they would have to fight against him and that would be like good training again. It's actually like this. Really funny to see some of these guys, like how they actually are. I mean, they're cute. Holy, there's a lot of them. Like what, 10? Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, that would be really great. Oh, oh my God, here we go again. Holy... Okay, you really need to chill. And <laughs> this girl... Yeah, I really hope they succeed. For their own sake, I mean... All bees... Ready. Hopefully it won't get to that point. Oh, she cooked that. She only thinks about that. <laughs> Pretty much. She's smart. Is our Damn. You need to believe. Oh. Icky promise. So adorable. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. A thousand needles. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, I love this. Okay, now she is <laughs> more calm. That's good. <laughs> oh, she really likes him. I mean, she was already having those feelings before. <laughs> Just really funny to see Paul. She's like pretty creepy, but I like her. Hopefully, she won't have to kill anyone. That would be great. That's other guy. Damn. They already defeated that squad. Holy... It's a lot of people talking. Ooh. Hey, it sounds like a... Um... They're succeeding on defeating these squads. Ooh. Wonder if they're doing the same thing as before. Opening those holes. Yeah, these. It happened before. It's power though. They literally get trapped here. Oh, and Netero defeats them. Damn, this is quite the way to do it. It's like a... They're separating them. And Netero fights against them like 1v2 or like... At most, maybe. So it's like easier for him to defeat them. Hmm. Man, these guys are good. Damn. Okay, I was saying two at a time, but I don't know about that anymore. Yeah, Netro is uh, showing that he still has the moves. Still really strong. It's a shame that they don't show much of the fight, so I don't know against how many people he fights. Not people, but like this camera ends. It's like he fights against many of them at the same time. Since they're caged there, they have nowhere to go, and no one will know that's happening. Hmm. It's 
probably really close to happening. I'm expecting the third Royal Guard to be born before. Hmm. I still remember them saying that in the worst case scenario it, it would take two months for the king to be born. And it's like one month pass, right? Like close to that. I guess they still have some time. Oh. To make it count. Exactly. Holy... Man, this girl... <laughs> Biscuit already planning her escape. So I guess uh, in the end, Shoot is not going to get involved. It was a surprise to see that he's actually like that. I like how a lot of things in this story are really unpredictable. Yeah, let's see what happens during this fight. Pretty sure they are already a lot stronger, but... It's never enough. Considering how this place is. Oh, is it going to happen? Oh. The third one. So now all three are here. There's actually someone playing that. It's Shaya Poof, right? It's a violin player. Oh, is that Kite? Wait, someone is moving him like that? He's like a puppet. Man, this doesn't look good. This is what I didn't want to happen. For them to just... Like, use him. UP. Didn't he have a really weird name? Okay, it's basically the last part. And by weird, I mean complicated, I guess. I don't want to sound rude. Yeah, okay, UP is a lot easier to remember. Oh. All right. Hmm, pretty confident. Wonder how strong they became. Damn that speed! Oh.
That was good though. Hmm. It was already impressive, but we need to do more. Hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah, this guy keeps looking down on them, but hopefully they will prove him wrong. Hmm. No, I would love to see Netero becoming richer. Wait. Is betting one million on Gon and Kiwa? Damn. Maybe he's going to win big. Oh, damn. Managing to stand. But because he needs to stand still, gives him time. It takes too much time, right? Like he needs to stand still and takes a long time to charge it up, so gives the opponent some time. I don't know if it's that, that he noticed. That's what I'm thinking right now. Sacrificing someone. Damn. Man, that's not a good sign. It's already implying that... Someone is going to die. But the question is who? Damn, I mean, at this point, it's... Something I'm more and more prepared for after what already happened. But man, that's thing about Kite. It's like they were using his body as a puppet. That's exactly what I was wondering about before, I mean... She was probably able to fix the body, but... The soul is a completely different thing, so... I guess he's not going to be... revived. Damn, I still need to watch more, but... Kinda losing my hope.
I know that woman with Nefra Pito, her telling that she was going to fix him. It really gave me a lot of hope that maybe he could come back to life and then maybe he would find a way to defeat her or at least uh, escape and uh, uh, like do things um, later on, like um, better prepared. But yeah, it's um, not looking like uh, that's going to be the case anymore. But again, it's it could still surprise me. So I'll just uh, uh, wait and see what will happen. Um, but yeah, definitely can't wait to see... If Gon and Killua are going to be able to defeat um, Knuckles because they um, desperately uh, need uh, the two tokens and it would be great if uh, they were um, able to um, to defeat this guy because that would uh, um, like show that uh, they definitely became uh, a lot stronger. Um, but yeah, it's already clear that Gon is um, showing some better movements and it's like he became uh, faster and uh, can also withstand some of those attacks um, a bit better. Um, but yeah, now there's that thing about um, the rock comes first, the, that um, move um, from Gon. Um, but um, uh, Knuckle um, knows about um, two of the biggest weaknesses of that move. So uh, what I'm thinking right now is something that um, I already noticed before. Um, is the fact that um, when Gon um, decides to do that, um, not only he needs to stand still, um, but he's also taking some time to charge it up. So um, that's um, like most likely enough time for um, his enemy uh, to make his move and stop him um, before he um, performs that move. So in a 1v1 fight, um, it wouldn't be um, like um, a good thing, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure if that's um, exactly what Knuckle is thinking about, but uh, in the next episode, he's probably going to um, explain just um, what he's um, uh, like, um, thinking. Um, so yeah. It is just really can't wait to see what's going to happen during the, the next episodes. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.